I didn't have to um, make my son cry. Oh no. Anyways, it's Ari. Welcome back to another video for you guys that are new here. Hey, hope you stay and subscribe and like and comment. And for those that are returning, what's up, girl? Yeah, I want to stop raising this eyebrow. Like, can I just have a regular conversation without? It's like. <laughs> My face expressions are just, and the, the hand movements. Anyways, let's get right into this video. So I had post a question, thinking with girl on Instagram. I think I asked the girl topics, girl topics. But then I actually got some pretty good ones and I wrote them all down and I'm definitely gonna be trying to touch all those topics. But for today's, because there is a BBL epidemic. <laughs> I can't say that word, did I say it right? Epidemic. <laughs> yeah, I can't say. Anyway, since there is a um, surgery crisis going on right now, everybody getting surgery thing, um, I really liked that this one topic. BBL hate was a really good topic for me. Because where I'm at in life right now, you know, it's been two years since my BBL. So I feel like for those of you that are just now going into surgery or getting that, you know, that low key hate before surgery that we get, y'all know what I'm talking about. Um, I feel like I can speak on it now since it's two years and all the bumpy roads I done had to go through in dealing with it and all of that. So, Dealing with BBL hate is real. It's a real thing. Any surgery, any surgery, cosmetic surgery, any cosmetic surgery hate is real. We already gotta prepare ourselves for the day to day hate. That's beautiful woman, you know? So now when you have a pretty face and a fat ass, flat stomach, which I'm a little chubby right now. We're not about to get into that, but you gotta be ready, ready, prepare, prepare for the hate, cause it comes in like, boom. <laughs> they think you know, you're just most hated, especially in your city, in your city. I've told y'all, I do not belong in my city. I said what I said, I do not belong in my city, I don't. So honestly, getting cosmetic surgery, especially something like a BBL, it's not for the week. It's not, I'm telling you, it is not for the week. It will take a toll on your mental health. Like, it will take a toll on your mental health. If you are not a strong individual, just know it will take a toll on you. First, you go through the stage of already not liking your results because you think that's what you're about to look like because a fluff fairy ain't came yet or and all of that. So you already down in, just depressed, that makes you depressed. That That's a real thing. I, that's gonna be another topic because I, I wanna talk about that. But anyways, so on top of that, you have to deal with the side eyes and, and the females mad because they men watching you walk by and um, just hate and from your friends, the side comments from your family, which let me just make that clear, my family, they, I was lucky, my family, they, they had nothing bad to say, not to my face anyways. <laughs> like, they was fully supportive of it. They don't care what I do. They already know I'm out of control, I do what I want. <laughs> used to be out of control, I'm good now. If y'all watched my other videos, yes, I told my boss why I was taking off and things like that. So they already knew I was coming back to work with a fat ass, so. <laughs> it, it wasn't much hate there. I mean, customers would always ask questions like, what you, you've been losing weight. Now damn well, they know damn well, that's not what it was. I know I already have a little fatty, but you see this big ass. <laughs> so you'll get comments like that from people that ain't seen you and all that. For those who have haters in the family, I already know that's gonna be a big thing for y'all, but we'll include all that in just talking about friends. You'll get friends that that are that have always low-key been jealous of you and 
I don't think I had just friends that, mm, I don't know. But you'll lose those friends that were already hating on you and were trying to talk you out of, this is a sign. So if you have anybody telling you things like, why, why are you getting your body done? Are you insecure? Do you not like how you look? God made us like this for a reason. If God wanted you to have a fat ass, he would have gave you a fat ass. Those are the signs of a hater friend or associate or whatever you want to call it. Because then later on down the line, they're going to be like, oh, I want surgery too. Oh my God. I want my ass to look like hers. Oh yes, I'm about to get it. But y'all were just talking y'all stuff. Another thing, and I felt it with this, like personally, I'm telling y'all. So I had a coworker. No, I'm not going to call her coworker. She was my employee. And uh, don't get me wrong, the lady was cool as hell. But as soon as she got fired for whatever reason, and she put us through a whole lot of bull crap, um, took us to court or whatnot for whatever reason, and she starts saying things like, you see her body? She got her body done. Me and the employees, we paid for that. Yeah, why she just stood at the desk. Mind you, I was the manager. And we worked. We paid for that. We made her bonus. That's how she paid for it. <laughs> Excuse my nails, y'all. I still have not found a nail tech, but I think I'm just gonna pop up somewhere tomorrow. I can't deal no more. But yes, that was one of the funniest ones. That lady was hilarious. To me, your biggest hater is gonna be your city. If you're like me and you feel like you don't belong in your city, <laughs> I'm telling you, those are gonna be your biggest haters. On Instagram, I follow more of a, like girls that are inspiring to me, just nice looking man. <laughs> where I was going with that. My past videos were, you know, I talked about BBL. You will only see me mention my Instagram because I replied to a lot of girls that are about to have surgery or have had their surgery and have questions and stuff. They ask me on there and I respond because I don't get a lot of DMs. So it's easier for me to keep track of what's going on, who's who. Um, on YouTube, I obviously shared my journey with you guys on YouTube. The only reason I started a YouTube channel was because of that reason. Um, you guys have showed a lot of support and I love you guys for it. My YouTube channel is still very small, but I don't care to the 12 people that like my stuff, which I want from the gas station. <laughs> but anyways, where I'm going at is Facebook. Facebook, I don't even know why I still have it. I will, I usually deactivate that thing every six months for about six months. Cause to me, Facebook is so toxic. Only because that's where all my hometown people is on. So I have all my hometown people on Facebook. I actually have, I don't know, last I checked, you know, you can only have up to like 5,000 friends, but I have like, 10,000 followers last I checked, I think. I don't know, I haven't checked it in a while. So don't don't come for me if I'm wrong. But um, it's people on their hometown. And I keep my social medias public. So you'll get the the hater girls that, that want what you got, you know, AKA the hater girls, <laughs> you know. You'll get them loves, like, she got it from Miami and not from her mama, or that booty jiggle different when it comes from your mama. Girl, bye. Girl, bye, if you have the money, you will do it too. It is, you'll get people that you have on Facebook because you kept in touch with them, like, you know, maybe they worked with me once before, or, you know, you've met them through mutual friends and you add each other on Facebook, like, hometown-wise. I don't have money people from out of town on there. 
but you'll get them and then they'll start subbing, you know. Everybody want a fake body nowadays. Uh, mind you, I'm one of the first girls that's gotten surgery or that's known for the surgery in my hometown. Literally, probably one of the first girls. There is maybe two girls that had it before me. One don't even live here no more. Other ones don't even matter. They probably deny getting it. And me, I've been honest about it. I don't care. Uh, do you have a car? Do you have a house? Bitches nowadays got their body, but don't have a pan to cook in. Like, things like that. Obviously, I have everything. I, my priorities are straight. And I'm not just saying I have everything as in if I have more than anybody. I'm just saying I was straight before I got surgery. And I had to make a post not too long ago. What you mad about? That I look good before you, before I even had the surgery? Or that you can't afford your surgery? Which one is it? All right, y'all. If I keep, y'all know my allergies be bad. I hate making videos when my allergies be bad. And it seems like it happens every time. Every time I'm doing a video, my allergies are bad. I don't know why. Let's talk about BBL groups. That's where you'll see the most hate. Why are you in this group? Where are the admins? They need to be cleaning up house, cause I'm telling y'all, that hate in those BBL groups be real. How did you even make it in this group? Why are you here? That's a real question. Why are you here? Why are you here? They is the biggest trolls I've done seen. One post will get about a hundred and something comments, 1K likes, da, 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 and it's all because females is on there trolling. Don't get me wrong, some of the shit they be saying, it be funny. It be funny, I'm only human. I am not trying to go to hell with you. You're going to hell and I'm not going with you for laughing at the shit you be saying. Don't make the baby cry again. <laughs> I usually try to send him upstairs with his brother when I'm making a video, and his brother is not here at the moment, so he's just over there being bad. But anyways, Facebook groups, BBL groups, I be trying to get in there and be active and stuff, but I ain't got time for no girl trying to troll me through a keyboard and stuff. Like, I already deal with enough of that on a regular basis, just, because, I mean, <laughs> I'm not about to deal with that in no group or whatever. Girls already try to hate in my comment sections here. I'll be quick to delete their comments. Because one thing I've learned is to not entertain that. Especially not on no YouTube, baby. But thanks for the view. Now, bye. That I've been getting hated. Well, I take this as hate as well. People asking you, are you going to get anything else done? Why? Why are you getting that done? See, you're going to start looking like plastic. See, they going to start bouching. Y'all can even say the word. Y'all know what I'm talking about. You're going to start looking messed up. See, you're going to start looking like plastic. See, you're going to start looking fake. We do not care. If I want to continue getting surgery, then I'm going to do it. I don't see why that bothers people. My body, my choice. My body, my choice. And for the ones trolling girls on the internet, especially like on YouTube, YouTube videos about surgery and people trolling them in the comments, I don't get it. Like, this is a BBL video. If you are against surgery videos, I mean, yeah, if you are against surgery, go find you a against surgery video and interact in those comments. Because right here, we talking surgery. So why are you mad? Why are you here? How did you find me? Why are you watching me? You know, bye hater. Yes, I do have surgeries coming up. <laughs> surgeries. That will be talked about in a different video. And I'm not making fun of the whole everybody getting surgery done right now. The only reason I be talking my stuff is because, baby, I'm trying to get in too. And they booked up into a whole year out because of y'all. That's my only problem. I am trying to get up and out there. And y'all is, no, I'm not about to wait till next year to get rid of this. No. <laughs> to get rid of these. No. 
So for the, the main topic of the video, how do you deal with hate? I don't. <laughs> I don't. I don't. I don't deal with it. I don't see you. I don't hear you. Why are you here? You don't like me, girl. Bye. Boy, bye. Boy, bye. Boy, bye. Like, I don't deal with it. And you shouldn't have to either. But that is all for today. Thank you guys for watching. As always, go at me on Instagram, Ariana underscore MRQZ, Ariana underscore MRQZ. I'm just looking at what yeah. And um, subscribe, y'all. Subscribe. I make these videos, you know, from the bottom of my heart, from me to you. So subscribe. Thanks for watching, y'all. Until next time, ciao.